How do you handle the unrelenting volume of correspondence that comes your way on a regular basis? Well, you probably have already learned some aspects of triage. That is, you get rid of those immediately that have no impact on you, your life, your career, your community, your family, whomever. You get rid of those that are junk. You park those that might have importance, but you don't have to deal with them now. And the third and largest category, perhaps, are those that do come in, you do need to deal with, and you're going to get to them in some kind of reasonable order. The order is this. If it's important and urgent, in other words, your boss sent it to you and you have to respond in a rather short uh, time frame, obviously that comes first. If it's simply important but it can be parked for a couple minutes, for an hour, for the rest of the day, that's fine. Park it where you will. If it's urgent, that doesn't necessarily mean it's important, but it does mean that whoever sent it to you wants to have an answer in relatively short order. So if you have the time, the mental energy, and the clarity, go ahead and respond. Very often, much of the email we receive only requires us to acknowledge that we received it, or to say yes or no, or to give a short answer, a URL, an address, a phone number, what have you. So when a flood of information comes your way, a flood of emails, and you recognize the importance of deleting immediately what should be deleted, parking what can be parked, and then addressing what needs to be addressed in an order that is mentally um, convenient for you, and when I say convenient, I mean you can mow down three or four shorter ones and then maybe spend five minutes on a longer one and so on, then you've got a fighting chance on a daily basis to stay even with that inbox. If your inbox has grown to 8, 10, 15, 25, 50, 75 emails that you have not addressed, your system is not working. Go back, reassess, why aren't you deleting more, why aren't you parking more, and then have the mental and emotional strength to deal with the rest.